IVR. What is IVR? Interactive Voice Response or IVR. Basically what happens is, you know, when you make that phone call and you got to press one, two, three to get to the right person. Well, guess what? You can now use pre-recorded voice, text-to-speak, technology inside of high level to set up your own IVR, interactive voice response. And I'm going to show you how to do this right inside of Workflows. So the first thing that we need to do is come into a workflow and create a new workflow. And what you're going to do is you're going to search for the IVR and we're going to set the IVR trigger. The IVR trigger is going to be based on the phone number that you have selected within your account. So you'll select the phone number that if this is the number they call, this is the IVR that you want to set up. So once you hit save, you'll be able to save your trigger. And now what we want to do is tell it what to do next. So what we're looking for is the IVR tools. And you'll see these when you scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see IVR. We've got gather input on a call, say play message, connect to call, or record the voicemail. So you've got a bunch of different options in here that you can use. In order to get it to work, we've got to gather the input on the call. So this is the one you want to select first to get the input. This is where you're going to say your message. Hey, thanks for calling. Press one for this, press two for this. So you can come in here and change it. You'll see action name, gather input on call, say a message, or you can play a message. When you play the message, look at this. You can upload a file as well. I'll go ahead and add in. Hello, this is business name. So we're going to come in here. We're going to select one for sales, two for service, and three for support. So we're going to let it speak that. I'll go ahead and make it be a man's voice. And right here where it says number of loops, this is how many times should the message be repeated. By default, this is set to one. So we give them the question, they select the option one, two, or three. Right here where it says stop gathering after seconds, this is important. Set the time in seconds for the caller to input by pressing any keys. It has to be a minimum of five seconds to 30 seconds. This is the pause that allows the user calling on the phone to select one, two, or three. So you want to at least have a minimum of five seconds. Right here where it says stop gathering after seconds, that's the time that you definitely want to give the caller that five to 30 seconds of a pause to let them select which option they want. The value of the stop gathering key press is a control key, meaning that its value is not submitted with the rest of the gathered digit. For example, if you stop gathering key presses and the user enters one, two, three, only one, two, three will be submitted with your data. I would just leave this alone, set it like this. But if you find that people are hitting one, two, three and not deciding, you may want to come back in and stop gathering on a specific key. So for example, if they press one, two, and three, we want to make sure that one takes them to where they want. If they're not sure and they pressed one, if you want to give them that time frame to press two or three, we can stop gathering after they've hit a specific digit. That's really what that is. A lot of people will listen and press one, two, or three. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit save the action. And now we've got the input on the caller. We've got our input set up. Now we need to add a condition. We've got one, two, and three. So we're going to set up the if else. And when we set up the if else, we need to create our three branches. This would be press one. When we start with press one, we'll hit IVR gather. We're going to hit press input digits. We're going to select is one. Now we're going to add another branch. We'll call this press two, or we could say sales service. You can order, organize this however you'd like. And this one is going to be IVR gather. We're going to do digits is two. Now we're going to add one more branch and we're going to say press three or support. And we'll go to IVR gather. We're gathering the digits and the digit is three. And then what we want to do is save the action. So I might put condition one, two, three or sell service and support because we all know I always recommend labeling your workflow. Now here's where gets really fun. I'm going to go ahead and go to sales. I'm going to hit add. Remember we had all of our awesome IVR options. We can gather input on a call. 
we can say play message, we can connect the call, or we can record a voicemail. If you just wanted to leave voicemails for all of these, all you got to do is click voicemail. But we really want to transfer that. So let's select connect the call and we'll connect the call on cells. And then what you do is you select the specific user to connect the call to. Then you can select record the call or not record the call. And then of course you can set your timeout, set the waiting time in seconds for the dialed party to answer the call. Minimum one second, maximum 60. Default is set to 30. Sometimes you might do 60. That's just giving them that time. So we'll go ahead and hit save action. And then let's say for service. Let's go back over here and let's go find our awesome IVR options. And let's say I want to gather some more information. So I can gather some more information and then I can have them select one, two, three. So let's say the voicemail said press two for service. They press two for service. We can now go down a whole nother path, say, Thanks for reaching out to service. Press one if you've been contacted to pick up your car. Press two if you're looking to make an appointment for your car. You can see how fun that would be to continue to give them other options. Of course, you could select play a message where if they select two, you could have it say or play a voicemail message or leave a message. It would just play a message giving them instructions on what to do and you can connect the call or you can just record a voicemail. Recording a voicemail actually will capture the record of the voicemail and bring it into your system. You don't necessarily have to do that one, but if you just want it to go right into voicemail, then I would definitely select that one. The most common is going to be connecting a call. You want to connect the call to your sales team. Then you want to connect the call to the second user or a backup user. Or if the person is in charge of service that's on the team, you definitely want to select to connect the call. You can even do things like if it's after a certain time, think of all the great things that you're going to be able to do. Finally, having an IVR interactive voice response. Just make sure you set up your users with their phone numbers and that you're compliant. And that's Lead Connector Interactive Voice Response IVR. So go check it out when you get a second. You're going to have some fun playing with this one. <laughs>